Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to order decimals. And for our example, we're going to order the decimals from greatest to least. Now, the first thing that we're going to do to help us order these is line them up off to the side. And we're going to line up the decimal points. This is going to line up all of the places. So we are going to line up all of these. So we'll start with two and 972 thousandths. Then we have two and six tenths. Then one and 51 hundredths. Then two and 99 hundredths. And then one and six tenths. Now this does look a little off since we have numbers going to different places. So what we can do, we can use placeholder zeros. Remember, zeros to the right of decimal digits do not change the value of the decimal. So we can do this. We need to find the decimal that goes to the furthest place to the right. That's going to be two and 972 thousandths. That goes to the thousandths place. So let's use placeholder zeros to the right of the other decimals to make them go to the thousandths place as well. So for two and six tenths, we need two placeholder zeros. For one and 51 hundredths, we need one placeholder zero. For two and 99 hundredths, we need one placeholder zero. And for one and six tenths, we need two placeholder zeros. Now this looks a little more lined up and neater. This will help us order. Now we move on to comparing digits from left to right. So we can start putting these in order from greatest to least. So we'll start with the place furthest to the left and we will work our way right. The place furthest to the left here is the ones place. So that's going to be our greatest place value. We have a two, a two, a one, a two, and a one. And since we are going from greatest to least, we want the largest digit in value. That's going to be these twos. Now, since we have three twos, those digits are the same, we need to work our way right and take a look at the tenths place to see which of these is going to be the greatest. So let's look at the tenths place. We have a nine, a six, and a nine. Those nines are greater than the six, so now we have it narrowed down to these two right here. So let's work our way right to the hundredths place to see which of these is greater. We have a seven and a nine. Nine is greater than seven, so this is going to be our greatest. So let's write this off to the side, two and 99 hundredths. And then I'm going to put a comma here. Now I wrote the decimal from the original list, two and 99 hundredths, not the equivalent decimal with a placeholder zero, two and 990 thousandths. Now again, those are equivalent, so either will work, but I'm going from the original list. Now we can cross this off and move on to what we have left. Now before moving on, I do wanna mention another way to think about this. We can think in terms of the entire decimal part here. We had 972 thousandths compared to 990 thousandths. 990 thousandths is greater than 972 thousandths. So that was our greatest. Now back to what we have remaining. So we start the process over. So starting in the ones place, we have a two, a two, a one, and a one. Well, two is greater than one. So we need to look at these two right here. Since both of those have a two in the ones place, we move to the tenths place. We have a nine and a six. 
Nine is greater than six. So two and 972 thousandths comes next. So two and 972 thousandths. And we can cross this off. And again, we can think of this in terms of the entire decimal part here in order to compare. So 972 thousandths compared to 600 thousandths. 972 thousandths is greater. And now let's continue on. So looking at the ones place, we have a two, a one, and a one. Two is the greatest here, so that's what's going to come next. Two and six tenths. And we can cross this off and continue on. So looking at the ones place, we have a one and a one. So let's move over to the tenths place. We have a five and a six. Six is greater than five. So that's what comes next. One and six tenths. So let's cross that off. And we only have one left now, one and 51 hundredths. So that is last year. And now we are in order from greatest to least. So there you have it. There's how to order decimals. Just remember, line up the decimal points, use placeholder zeros, and then compare digits from left to right. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.